Very good. So we are trying to see how to create a four bar mechanism. So first of all, um, we are going to create a new file. So five save, save as um, we can save it in our preferred position. I'm going to save it on desktop and call it um, four bar mechanism F15. This should be a four and save it. And I'm going to select a box here. See box comes out. Click, I click, click everywhere, then move the mouse and it will create the base. Click again and then we create the thickness of the system. And I don't really care much about the size right now. What I want to do simply is to double click on it, go to box and then select the size. Now you see that right now we have the measurements which are in meters. Um, we don't want that. We want everything in millimeters. So for just a second, we close the thing. We go to world. Display setting, display setting units, and as distance we select millimeters, and then close. Wonderful. Now we double click on the box again, and all the measurements are in millimeters. We want a thickness of X of 30 millimeters. Oh, I guess uh, this was 10 millimeters. The Y. Um, 30 millimeters and Z 50 millimeters apply close and here's the section click here to zoom in it's even too much and I can use these different um, elements to zoom in zoom out I can also look at these particular um, views to see what I want to see in perspective or not. I usually prefer not to see it in perspective. Right now then we need to set up the position of this box which we can give a name. Just click here, double click and call it base. Enter or click out of the system. Then double click what we want is to place the box or the base in a particular position of the world uh, of the world so down here in the corner we're going to select world position and automatically in the properties i'll have a world position box and i can set for the time being the position at zero 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 Apply and close and I will have now that the, the base is with its center of mass positioned in zero 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 of the world um, but just to for the sake of doing it I want the system to rotate around a uh, the Z axis of the world so what I need to do is to move the base so that this particular edge, the one that I'm pointing in right now, is um, on the z-axis. So this particular surface is on the z-axis. So I'll double click again and I'll move everything along the y, the axis of um, 15 since the uh, width along the, the y-axis of the base is 30. Remember here I'm still in the world position. Apply and you see that the system moved. Now we close this, we select a frame or a cord. The cord 
um, whenever I select the chord automatically the grid will come out as you can see and I want to position the chord on one particular surface of this uh, box so I can select an edge I can select uh, a face and you see that automatically these will be selected and the color changes so I'll place it in generic position here um, and then double click on it what I want now is not the world position I want the position with respect to the base so the position of this red chord will be selected with respect to the position of the base the, with respect to the center of mass of the base so I can write 0 here minus 15 is already there it's already established because I'm on this surface I cannot I could select this as a different number but since I selected the surface that surface is at y equal minus 15 and then select z equal 0 what I want now if I zoom in a little bit so you can might see better I want the z-axis which is this thing that sticks out from the chord aligned with the z-axis of the world and this is just for convenience because whenever I create a constraint this constraint assumes that the movement is around the z-axis so I select double click on the frame again and I can rotate the system let's say around um, Y of 90 degrees oh that was wrong zero let's go back and around X then of let's put this at zero and Z now is oriented properly so what I need to do now is to create the constraint so see I need to click on the frame again click on constraint select revolute joint and make sure that is from chord 3 on base of base to new chord on the background and create and automatically I have a constraint uh, next let's zoom out a little bit more now this is kind of uh, there is an inconvenience here because the zoom of the system does not really uh, work well it, it makes these constraint very very small so we can go to world display setting uh, display setting and here when it says constraints and chord appearance just take out the automatic and put 20 millimeters and then click apply and you have a nice big constraint that now you can see um, the second thing we want to do is to create a uh, an arm for the mechanism so we're gonna do it in a cyl cylindrical shape so we click cylinder here wherever we just click wherever create the diameter and create the length and here we have the cylinder um, it doesn't really matter the way it is oriented now we're gonna give again to the cylinder a set of coordinate a set a dimension and a set of coordinates so as far as dimension double click we go to cylinder we set the radius of five millimeters and the height of 350 millimeters and hit apply um, then 
what we need to do is to set up a frame attached to the cylinder. Now, if you can see, there is a problem with my vision card, but I hope you can see that I can click on the frame and then select well, for some reason it doesn't see it. So let me see if I can find another better position. Mm. No. Well, let's redo the cylinder. Now let's set the grid so that the grid is not automatic but on the Z. Okay. And create the cylinder again. Diameter, length, perfect. Now I can see it better. Five, three hundred and fifty. Apply and zoom it out. Let take, and now I can see the surface that I want that I could not see before. This is unfortunately comes from the recording system that I'm using. So I can select the uh, frame, attach it to this particular surface, double click, and with respect to the position, in this case is the position, not the world position, I set 0 and 0, click apply, and then I will create um, the Z axis oriented along the X axis. So something I can do is, for example, a rotation around Y, say 90 degrees, apply. Same thing, I will create a, another frame that I will put on this edge double click make sure that it is in the correct position this is 0 and this is 15 and the orientation I can let's see this is X so orientation of 90 degrees no so this was 180 this Perfect. So now Z, you can see, is oriented in the direction of the rotation that I want. And now the only thing I need to do is to select the two um, frame, clicking Control, and then click, uh, select Revolute Joint, and then I would select here move joints and create and this is where we got when we were in class the next video we will start from here and uh, we will see basically the next part of how to make the four bar mechanism